Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Sophia and this video is going to be all about dream jobs and how to get one. Now, a lot of you know, or maybe you don't know, that I work for an organization called Veganuary at the moment. And uh, my job is to look after the partnerships that we have and all the different language versions and generally the pledge. And this is like literally the best job I ever had. And I love coming back to work. I miss it when um, I'm holiday or during the weekends and uh, a lot of people ask me like how do you get a job like this, is this even possible, how did you go about finding it and this video is going to be all about how I did it and how I would recommend you going about it so I hope you like it. The first thing that I'm going to tell you is finding a dream job is a long game it's definitely not something that you can do in the day it's something that has to be planned really well and then once you have put all the arrangements in place then you'll be able to reap the results maybe in about i don't know a month to maybe a year and for some people it's even longer but even if you're patient then you literally won't have to work for another day as the famous proverb says that if you find uh, a job that you love, you won't have to work for a day. And that's actually another thing I have to say before I uh, tell you how I found a dream job is that it's still work. It's not going to be easy. Like I definitely don't find my job easy. It's not something that um, I do without effort. I definitely work very hard every day so that I uh, do my best work so uh, I like it and I love it and I can't imagine not doing it and if I won a lottery I don't think I would stop working there this is how much I like it so um, yeah but it's definitely not easy so don't hope that it's going to be like a long holiday it's definitely not like that so without further ado um, I'm going to give you some tips on how to find a dream job. Uh, you will have to have uh, a pen and paper, um, no particular sort of quality or anything. Uh, it can be in a notebook. Um, I wouldn't do it on the computer because I think it's good to have it on pen and paper. There's some kind of magic about writing something on a pen and paper. Um, on, on paper with a pen and um, I definitely recommend that and this is how I actually started so what you need to do is you need to think uh, long and hard and maybe it will take you about um, you know a couple of days uh, coming back and forth to this piece of paper with um, answers to the following questions so the first question would be um, what would you really like to do? What would make you really happy? You know, it may be staying outside, it may be working with children, working with animals, I don't know, maybe working next to the sea or working in an office or working in a really fancy building. Just try and describe what you actually want to do. And even if it's fake, like don't worry about it because eventually you will get to a point where you'll be able to ask this, answer this question quite clearly. Uh, but just try and describe it um, generally what you want to do. Uh, then talk about people, who you would want your colleagues to be. Uh, do you want them to be quite nice? Is it important to you that they are friendly? Is it important to you that they are, for example, of certain, I don't know, religion or belief? For example, all my colleagues are vegans and I actually really like that because they really get my values and I don't have to have conversations with them as to uh, whether vegan cheese is cheese or whether it's ethical to eat meat. So I just feel really safe. So um, in my list, which I put, um, uh, put together, I put that I want to work with vegans or maybe with people who love animals. Now, the third thing is what kind of skills do you want to be using? Uh, do you want to be using your marketing skills, your copywriting skills, your sales skills? What skills do you have and what skills do you love using most of all? Um, there can be a lot of it, so just write whatever comes to mind. And um, the fourth thing is place of work. Do you want to work in an office or at home? Because it's very important. Like for me, I wanted to work at home. So that's what I put. The sixth thing is, of course... Actually, the hours, the fifth thing, um, the hours, how many hours do you want to work? For example, I wanted to work full time because I felt that this is how I can make most impact. 
um, but maybe you want to work part-time or do you want to work weekends it's also very important to write this down and the sixth thing is salary how much do you want to get paid and of course you might not actually get that exact amount but generally maybe give yourself a range I don't know 20 to 30 K or 30 to 40 something like this so once you've done all this you need to kind of leave it and maybe come back to it try and ask yourself um, I don't know is this something I really want to do and come up with a really good list and maybe sharing my own list that I have put together in February I think 2018 when I was really desperate to find a new job I was uh, I really wanted to leave my previous job and I was like I really I'm really ready for something but I want like a perfect job I want to actually love what I am doing I don't want to spend my days doing something I do not believe in and um, uh, this is what I put in my list so the first thing I put is because I was vegan then I wanted to help animals and I just want to do anything that would advance animal rights and veganism in the world I wanted to work with nice people I want them to be friendly and helpful and generally uh, quite nice to be around the third thing was I wanted to work at home and wanted a certain salary and I gave myself a rough range of what I'll be happy with and I also wanted to use my languages and my marketing skills and my communication skills as well. And you know what's really funny? It's like uh, this is literally what my job is. This is what I do and how did that work? So first, it doesn't work straight away. I would say that this came true maybe in about six months time um, and uh, first I got a job which was completely irrelevant to this one so I just kept applying and the job I got was in a charity as well because I work in the charity at the moment uh, but it was definitely not my perfect job it wasn't vegan it wasn't from home but I went with it anyway because Perhaps some jobs are you going to be taking, you know, some kind of magic is going to be happening around this list that you put together. Um, is going to put you in the right direction, but will not necessarily give you that dream job straight away. And you know what's really interesting is that no matter what you believe in, maybe you believe in the universe, maybe you believe in manifestations, maybe you believe in religion or something like this, but I, I definitely believe that the universe... Uh, can give you this opportunity if you manifest it and this is the way you manifest it but even if you don't believe in it putting it on paper will really help you understand um, what you like what you want because nobody can give you something that you don't even know yourself you want and maybe there will be a perfect job that you would really love it'll come about you'll get an interview you'll get it but if you don't recognize that this is something you wanted maybe it will be wrapped up differently then you might uh, not give it a chance and it'll be a huge loss so definitely I think um, being open-minded and believing in it and sometimes like for me when I got this charity job that wasn't that wasn't what I wanted but I I got it I, I went with it anyway because um, you know I just like doing all sort of uh, work and I thought well, it would be good to really um, improve my experience and maybe one day I can work in a vegan organization I don't know but I probably thought maybe in five years time something like this and then I worked there very happily really enjoyed it and then one day about six months after I've done this list um, I came across this ad posted by one of the Ganyuri founders they were looking for an international partnerships coordinator and at first I was like well I have a job I don't need to apply and then it came it kept coming up in my feed and I was like I really have to apply for it now because when I looked at the job description it was literally like my resume but without my name so I thought I have to apply for it now and uh, I basically I went ahead and got through all the interview schedule um, got uh, through all the interview stages and got it which I was really surprised about because there were a lot of people applying for it and uh, when I was applying for it I realized that this job fitted all my descriptions that I wrote six months back and this just shows you that you can only spot something that you want if you put it down beforehand 
So I really, really recommend you making this list and really thinking it through, maybe getting some advice from the people. And this is actually stage one, you know, putting it together and then making the universe do its work. However, there are also things that you can do. You don't have to just sit and wait. First, of course, as I mentioned, go and get a job, something that does suit somehow what you want to do because you have to keep working and for me this first job that I got in the charity was a stepping stone for Veganuary because it was also a charity and I guess for them it would be you know Veganuary actually preferred somebody who already worked in the charity because you know they wanted that kind of person who um, I guess wanted to work in charities <laughs> I don't know um, but yeah so don't sort of never sort of think oh no like no job matters unless it's perfect so the second step i guess is finding examples of these jobs like the real life examples are there actually any ads at the moment online maybe on linkedin on indeed on monster any websites that you look for jobs are there any adverts already with this job description and i'm not necessarily saying you have to go and get these particular jobs but at least have a look how your understanding of a dream job matches with reality is there anything there out there already that you can be aiming for are there any skills mentioned on these job descriptions that you perhaps have to still develop uh, what's the job title is your money estimation realistic just get some reality check but still believe that there's still like a better version of what you want of, of what's already out there uh, because, because that's originally what you want and this is your dream job and for me my job never existed when I wanted, when I wanted it, when I manifested it, but it came into fruition in six months time. So I was really happy about that. And I definitely think that was the universe uh, helping me out. So the third step of finding your dream job would be to find the people that are perhaps already doing this job or maybe the people like, in my case, it was the founders of Veganery. I followed them on Facebook. I added them as a friend. I followed a bunch of people on LinkedIn from vegan organizations because usually jobs get posted by these people. Uh, do these people have any communities like networking events or just physical events? Can you come and say hello? Just get yourself a bit closer to that world, uh, that industry where you want to work. I think this can really work well because eventually these people will share a job or maybe they can give you some advice perhaps you can contact somebody who already works in the industry and say hey i have this desire to work um to do a similar job as you can you give me some advice as to how you found it or maybe some skills that i still need to develop and they'll be more than happy to help you and um this is basically the fourth step just keep speaking to people keep growing the network uh, keep getting closer to your dream job and eventually you'll get something like this and one bit of advice that i would definitely um, give you is never say no to opportunities just because they don't look exactly how you wanted them to look because very often we are offered something and it doesn't look like something we wanted because it's not what we wrote on the paper but actually um, it can really help us and eventually you can start this job and it can turn into your dream job internally so eventually you'll be promoted to this position you'll be given different responsibilities so just keep at it don't be sort of perfectionist but at the same time keep the idea of what you want in mind and eventually you'll get it and I think the best inspiration I have, even for myself, to go for my dreams and always manifest things, always write things down that I want, is uh, this piece of paper that I have where I wrote everything about my job and it all came true. And um, yeah, I hope this helped you and I hope that you got some uh, useful advice out of this. And if you have any other tips for finding dream jobs or if you have any questions for me, uh, please uh, leave them in the comments. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you later. Bye.